Thank you, Mr. Commissioner. Good afternoon. Hi, everybody. What a feeling. It's hard to describe the emotional happiness to be here with my friends and family and all the fans. Many thanks to the Baseball Raiders Association of America, Ms. Jean Clark, President of the Hall of Fame, Del Petrovsky, and staff for all the first class attention give it to my family and friends. It took me some time, but I'm lucky and blessed to be here with the fellows in Dutch, Mari, Sparky, Carlton, my estimate, and the other Hall of Famers present. I doubt that a king and his coronation feel better than me today. Many thanks to my, friend, my friends in Boston, Montreal, Philadelphia, everywhere, and especially in Cincinnati, a city that embraced me and refused me and refused to boo me anytime. At my worst times, supported and loved me all the time. The feeling of love and respect is mutual, and I really mean it. Many thanks to all that came from Puerto Rico, Cincinnati, Miami, Venezuela, Dominican Republic, Mexico, and everywhere. And to my father-in-law, Pablo de la Cantera, who is watching from Puerto Rico. I also feel blessed that I carry three special flags in my heart the one from the United States, where, way where the best baseball is played, Puerto Rico, that adopted me, and Cuba, where I was born. I was born and raised in a small sugar cane mill in Camagüey, Cuba, where my father loved baseball, always supported me, and taught me to respect and love for the game. I came from a poor, hard-working family, but rich in love and respect. My father had a tremendous admiration for Mini Minoso, I started in our country. One day, I told my mother, Tita, I'm going to be like him. She said, son, I wish you luck. We ain't going to be easy. Well, it was one easy, Tita, but here I am. When the late Tony Pacheco and Scott of the Cuban Sugar King signed me at 16, my father supported me. Later on, I went to my first spring training in Tampa, despite my mother's pleading because of her love. When the season started in April in Geneva, New York, where the cold was so intense, and I couldn't feel it in my bones. My mother, <laughs> how I miss the heat of my country and the love of my family. When I went back to Cuba in 1972 to visit my father, who was sick, and since I already have some great season and two World Series, when I saw my mother, I said, Tita, I told you, her eyes go wet with, with happiness. Well, I'm proud and, carry, and happy on my accomplishment. Somebody mentioned it, that I have a record of play 23 years without it being on the disabled list. But I have to mention that winning the All-Star Game in 1967 was a tremendous thrill. And all the competition on the World Series, especially the 1975 final game, when my friend Carlton Fitch was good enough to ask Bill Lee for the blooper pitch one more time. <laughs> I was lucky enough to participate in seven World Series, five as a player, at seven All-Star Games. But the thing I'm more proud of is that I always play to win and never care for numbers or records. And all those ways give me 100% on the field, and my only concern was on winning. My sincere congratulations 
Oh, I had seven of marriages, but I always remember Dave Bristol, who has not only given me the first opportunity, but I always say, if the game goes long enough, Tony will find a way to win it. He was my prophet. And my dear Sparky, I seen they made me wait so long so that could be inducted together. My sincere congratulations to Mary Bretterman, a very classy individual that's always supported me, and his partner, the young pitcher ever, Joe Norsa. I was at the lucky to play with two Hall of Famers, Johnny and Carlton, and many other Hall of Famers and classy individuals such as Joe, Davey, Pete, my brother in Cincinnati, and ST May, Lee May, Foster. Mike Smith, Sepera, and others, we are too many to name one by one. May I answer, may, may also thank this smiling organization which opened the door to me, and especially Mr. Henry, Dave Dombrowski, Marlin and staff, and all, all the Marlins fans and the South Florida fans. I also hope in the near future, Dave Concepcion, Andre Daco, Tony Oliva, Luis Tian, Mini Mignoso, and P. Rose could be here because the feeling is wonderful. I knew that it were not for Bob Gibson, I should be here earlier than today. May I also thank the Cincinnati Red Organization for the great 22 years, and all the Cincinnati Reds as poor writers for the royal treatment give it to me. My friend, my, fr my, my friends, Carola and Nick Vigaheliu, and the committee for the effort to help me to be here now. And my wife, Pituka. <laughs> what can I say about her? I think the day I meet her, my career real start. <laughs> because she helped me so much during these years on my way here that I know her words to thank him for this many for this happiness in my life. I think I'm not the only Hall of Fame in the family. She is the real one. She also gave me two wonderful son, Victor and Eduardo. No father can have two better sons and, and I have, and I really mean it. These guys are, are wonderful and really always respect us. I mean, especially my wife. Yeah, he has to. I want to thank the, the San Luis Cardinals organization and his manager, Tony La Russa, for Le Eduardo being here with me today. Before I finish, I want to pass a little bit of advice to all the present and future players. Please. Respect and honor the uniform you wear. Respect your fans, and more important, respect the game of baseball and national great pastime. <laughs> and now I will ask to say something in Spanish to all over here. I had to speak to the people in all the countries, and all the in Latin America who supported me for so many years. Buenas tardes. Antes que nada, quiero enviarle un abrazo a mi querida madre, Teodora, Tita, hermanos, familiares y amigos desde mi querida isla de Cuba, y en especial en el Central Violeta, en Camagüey, 
que están pendientes de mí en estos momentos. Gracias a mis familiares y amigos que han venido y fanáticos presentes y televidentes. A mi adoptiva isla de Puerto Rico, que allí también disfrutaron de mi carrera invernal y como dije anteriormente, es una de las tres banderas que llevo en mi corazón. Espero con un futuro muy lejano, peloteros como Dave Concepción, Luis Tian, Tony Oliva, Mini Miñoso, Pete Rose, sean también exaltados. Un cordial saludo a mis amigos fanáticos en general y al comité dirigido por mis amigos Nick Ancarola Villageliu, que me ayudaron a llegar hasta aquí en este día. Habiendo participado en seven series, siete series mundiales, siete Juegos de Estrella y ser el séptimo latino en ser exaltado, ser exaltado y que sin la ayuda de mi, mi esposa Pituca nunca hubiera llegado aquí y de mis dos pupilas de mis ojos, Eduardo Don Víctor. Quiero agradecer también a los equipos de Cincinnati, Montreal, Boston y Filadelfia y a los Florida Marlins, para los cuales trabajo hoy en día. Agradezco todo esto a Dios. Solo queda decir to all of you, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup, muchas gracias.